to look like a judge. I don't know which judges do that, but if they did, this is what they look like. Every single day. My hair is big, so you know it's about to get real. I was once told that my hair is so big because everyone tells me all kinds of secrets. And that's why it's so big. All my secrets are up there in my hair. Hey guys, it's Bethy B. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a great time before you learn all these interesting facts about me. There is a trend going on right now where people who are subscribed to YouTubers, they make assumptions about them, and then the YouTuber makes a video squashing the rumors or, or you know, saying whether it's true or not. And, like, I really worked hard to get assumptions for this video because I really wanted to do one because I thought that that would be a great way for you guys to learn about who I really am. So after several thousand social media posts and begging and being like, hey, guys, like, for real, like, I really want to make this video and I really need you to help me, I got some interesting assumptions, mostly DM to me through Instagram. Um, and then well, the interesting thing about it is like, I posted a few things um, on Instagram and it was like, I even like hashtagged it, like comment, don't like, they got liked and, and there was hardly any comments actually put on the post. It was as if like people were afraid to have their assumptions out there um, for everyone to see. So they would, you know, just, you know, instant message me through Instagram or Facebook. And so they, I had to like, you know, collect all of my different ones from all these different messages. I don't have that many, but I have a decent amount to make a good video, I think. So, um, basically I'm just going to like read them off and then tell you whether or not they're true or not. Simple enough, right? Oh, well, this is going to be fun. Okay. So the first one, it, first one, it says, that um, Bethy B is a very bubbly and outgoing person. I wouldn't say that I'm bubbly and I am outgoing, but here's the thing about that. It's like um, many people don't, um, don't know um, or they don't understand that I actually have severe social anxiety. I mean, not to the point where I like I am, I'm crippled, but to the point where I have to become a different person in order to speak in front of a crowd. So like, I become Bethy B. Bethy B can talk in front of anyone and she can say anything to anybody in front of everyone and not care. But Beth, she can't do that. She has anxiety about it. So it's like I become a different person um, in order to do that. Still the same me, I just like, and go. So I am outgoing, but not. Um, next. Um, Bethy B has never been in jail. No, no, I've never been in jail. Oh my God. I probably wouldn't be able to survive. They'd like just shoot me dead because I'd probably cry the whole time. Um, not saying that I've never done anything bad. Just saying I've never gone to jail. Just saying. That's why I won't get in that, th that all the dumpster. Uh, that's close to me because I'm afraid that woman is going to send me to jail. I can't live, I can't survive there. Okay. So the next one is, um, I bet you are the type of person that drives their car on empty because you know how far it will go before it runs out. I don't know. It's like, you know, my soul. Cause yes, little, well, in fact, my car is um, on its last leg, okay? Um, I, I drive in Acadia, and uh, it's the mom mobile, and it's been through a lot. Like, I recently hit a, a deer with it, um, and I haven't got that fixed. And uh, so, like, the front lights are always going out on it, and um, the heater now doesn't work right. It comes out to defrost. Um, like, I need a new car, but I can't afford one. That's neither here nor there. The main thing about that vehicle is that the gas gauge does not work. So the gas gauge doesn't work. And um, but I know that I can make it 300 miles without running out of gas. So I hit the, the trip meter and I'm, you know, every time I fill up the tank, I fill it all the way up. And I hit the trip meter and like 
it goes to zero and then I drive until I hit 300 miles and then I, I, I'm supposed to get gas then. Funny story, like last week, I hit 320 miles and was like, oh my gosh, I really need to get gas. And um, so I went and I pulled over, got gas and I was filling up and um, my tank holds like 21 gallons. And um, I had a 20 point, like 25 or something like that. You are a dog person and not a cat person. I own a zoo. Okay. I own a zoo. Um, I love all animals. Um, I have two dogs and, um, Bob a Yorkie, and I'm sure you've seen enough of Freddie the bulldog. Bob is a wonderful dog and I love him, but he is not photogenic. He does not like to be, have his picture taken. And Freddie is so lazy that I can take tons of videos and pictures of him all the time because he just doesn't move. And then I have a cat named Honey and, um, Emily has a bearded dragon named Dottie. Um, I have an aquarium full of fish. At one point in my life, I owned a um, flying squirrel and he died of old age. Oh man, that thing lived forever. And uh, I had, oh, I had box turtles and they were pretty much taken care of better than, their names were Myrtle and Betty. Um, they were taken care of care of better than any animal I've ever had. Like I treated them like my children. And then I had an outdoor enclosure for them and somehow they got out. I miss those turtles. But anyway, I love all animals, all animals. Anything that'll let me pet it. I mean, you know, just saying. My assumption is that you are afraid of spiders. It depends. It depends on what kind of spider, like there's a, like a garden spider that builds this beautiful web outside my back door every spring and I watch it eat stuff. Crawling on my face, probably not a good time. Um, but I wouldn't say that I'm like deathly afraid of them. I'm just kind of like, they're not my favorite things, but I'm not killing them. So there's that. You drink a lot of soda. I wish. Right now I am on the keto diet and I don't, I can't drink soda. Um, my soda of choice is Mountain Dew. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'd see that um, the other day I had like a crustless pizza with like no sauce and I didn't drink a Mountain Dew. I drank water and my, a little bit of my soul died um, because I really wanted Fountain Mountain Dew. Um, but no. So at one point, yes, which is why I'm on the keto diet, trying to lose weight because mama, mama drinks too much Mountain Dew. You are a fun mom. I got this one a lot. And then I also got, you are fun to hang around with. I am a fun mom, but I am a strict mom. And I, I yes, allow my daughter to jump in dumpsters. Um, to go find makeup or whatever it is her heart desires that's in that dumpster. Yes, we jump in dumpsters and this, that, and the other, but like I'm strict. Like them girls and that boy are not allowed out of my sight because I have to protect them. Also, I'm fun to hang out with 98% of the time. Cause I will for sure, if I see that you're upset about something, I'm going to try to make you laugh and I, it will be my dying wish to make you laugh. Um, if, and, and if it's not possible, then I'm going to hug you or something because like whatever, but like I'm fun to be at parties with and out on the town. I may end up on a table or on a stop sign or riding a horse through town. And yeah, that's happened. So I assume that you don't take anyone's crap. Listen, I avoid conflict at all. Like it don't look like it to people that know me. I avoid conflict at all costs. I don't like conflict. I don't like fighting. I don't like bickering. I don't like drama. With that said, if you mess with my kids, I will burn your house down. I won't really, because, you know, they probably put me in jail. 
can't do that. Okay, um, you hate broccoli. That's a weird assumption to just throw it out there that I hate broccoli. Um, and, and the answer to that is no. No, I love broccoli. I love all foods. Um, I will pretty much eat anything you put in front of me because uh, I like food and I like to eat. So um, broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, throw it all out on there. Put some butter on it. I'll eat it. This one here is my favorite one by far. Um, my favorite one. I assume that you still have that Daisy prom dress in your closet. Funny, interesting story about this, this Daisy dress. So, <clears throat> picture it. It's 1998. My senior year, and it's like, I have a job. You know, I'm working at McDonald's, and uh, like, I want to wear something really awesome to prom. Um, my mom and dad said they would give me $100 because they thought that's how much prom dresses cost. And um, so I go into um, this local prom dress seller, and I, I'm like looking around, and I don't really see anything that like screams Beth. Um, Bethy B was just a thought back then. Um, and, and she really wanted to come out and, and really wanted to like unanimously vote a class clown. So like I had to be out there at all times. I could not turn down the volume. Mm -mm. So, um, I go into the store and I'm looking around and I'm looking at everything and I don't really see something that set, that screams, look at me. And, um, and usually like, like I don't really, didn't really dress up. I was kind of like emo before emo was emo. Um, I wore my hair in different ways, like with like ponytails and things, things that's normal now, but it was not normal back then. Like I had like the Princess Leia buns. Um, and I remember going to school like that and everybody like, what the heck, what is she doing? Don't care. Whatever I can do to just throw myself out there. And I, I go in there and I don't really see anything, but then I, they were like, well, we got this catalog. You can order, maybe, you know, look through it, order it, but it'll be a little more expensive. So I'm like, I pick up the catalog and on the cover of the catalog is this beautiful white daisy dress. And it was $500. This was 1998. And I was not, I was like 17 working at McDonald's. Mom and dad gave me $100 and that doesn't cover my hair or my nails or my shoes or... I bought that daisy dress with my money and I spent my money on my hair and my shoes, but I gave them that hundred dollars as a deposit because I had to have it. And I vowed that I would wear that to my prom and I would wear that to my wedding. And by God, that's what I did. I wore that dress to my wedding, but the assumption is, is that I have it in my closet. You're damn right I do. Look at this. Why would you ever get rid of this? I mean, it flows. It's old and dingy. It's stained. And it doesn't fit me at all. But it's in my closet. And I'll never get rid of it. La 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 la. Ooh. I apparently live in this thing now. I can't get it off. Ugh. Also found in my closet was this graduation gown from 1998 and this prom dress from 1997. I almost didn't get out of my last prom dress, so I sure as heck ain't trying to put this on. Like I had to like pop my shoulder out of place just to get it off. Those are the interesting facts about um, or assumptions, interesting assumptions y'all have made about me. And, um, I have just spilled the tea and let you know what's real and what's not. Also, if you are new to my channel, this guy back here is, his name is Herman and I found him in a dumpster. So, um, I make videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and sometimes on the weekends, um, coming to a, a Bethy B channel near you. Um, and at some point soon, I will go dumpster diving and find something. Novel idea. 
But until next time, make sure you like this video if you like it. And if you don't, maybe I'm just not your cup of tea. Honey, I just don't know what to do. But make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every time I drop a video. Because I'm not, although I'm consistent on days, I am not consistent at times. Bye! Every single day